Welcome to Prayer with Peter Abridged. Today we will continue with our recitation of the Most Holy Rosary. We will begin the Sorrowful Mysteries as we begin our journey through Lent. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our first Sorrowful Mystery is the Agony in the Garden. In his anguish, Jesus prayed with all the greater intensity. His sweat became like drops of blood falling to the ground, and he rose from prayer only to find his disciples asleep, exhausted with grief. Luke 22, 44 and 45, fruit of the mystery is sorrow for sin. It is speculated that when Jesus knelt in the garden, we, we know that when they say he began to sweat blood, like what's actually happening, it's a medical condition under which you're under so much stress that your capillaries burst and you begin bleeding through your pores. This is a real thing. Um, it wasn't like a miraculous occurrence. He was just under that much stress. It's speculated that when this occurred, he was seeing the sins of all of humanity all at once, seeing every time we would choose to turn away from him and that Satan tempted him, saying, is this even possible to really bear the sin of all of humanity? Would you, do you actually think it'll work? Do you actually think it's worth it, that, that their lives are worth it and in, in, in all of the things that they're going to put you through even afterwards? And Jesus said, Father, if it is possible, let this cup pass without my drinking it. But not my will, but your will be done. We're all going to be asked to undergo a type of Calvary in our lives, to carry our own crosses. The question is, how do we respond to it? If we're called to perfectly be like Christ, that means that one, it's okay for us to ask God to take the cross away. That is part of our humanity. We don't like pain. We don't like suffering. And we can ask God to deliver us. But it also means that if we do that, we have to be willing to say, not my will, but yours be done. Your will above mine, Lord. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. The last time you asked God for help, how did, how did you ask? Did you say, Lord, not my will be done, but yours? I know I didn't. <laughs> I, I sat there and I was like, God, please just take it away. Make it stop. I don't want to have to deal with this anymore. Please, whatever else you have in store, just give that to me. But, like, but not this. Why are we so unwilling to do what God's asking of us? Don't we trust that any trial that he has us endure is going to lead to our salvation? Don't we trust him more than that? That the sufferings that he allows us to suffer are because they're worth something greater? Isn't that why Christ did what he did? Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. See, with the choice to be obedient to what God asks us, it opens us up to this whole new look at our life, that our sufferings are not meaningless, that our sufferings can be exchanged for grace and for mercy. That when we suffer, we can offer it to God as a currency for grace and mercy. This is beautiful. 
And this is why Jesus decided to do what he did, even though it was going to be very, very painful. He did it for us because he knew that his suffering would not be in vain. And that even if he sat there in sorrow for our sins, even if he had to know that we would turn our backs on him over and over and over again, even after he did this, he still decided it would be worth it to suffer for us, to do what the Father asked. You know, not everything that the Father asks us to do is going to be suffering, but we're still asked to look at it the same way and say, not my will, but yours be done. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, a world without end. Amen. We pray the glory be in every set of mysteries of the Rosary, even our sorrowful, because we have to remember that even amidst something like this, God's glory is still infinitely present, infinitely present around us, bringing us up to him, even in these lowest moments. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins and save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of your mercy. Join us next week for our second sorrowful mystery, the scourging at the pillar. God bless you.